human resource machine. What? Is this a game or some sort of a lesson in mathematical programming? Let's find out. Welcome to What the Math. I think I've officially found one of the best games to learn coding and programming ever. I had no idea this game is coming out and I had no idea this even existed until now. Actually it came out in October 2015 and this is called Human Resource Machine. Let me show you what this game is all about. Here we start by selecting our um, our new sort of player, new employee ID, because you're playing as an employee in a company. I'm gonna show you where I am so far. This guy has been employed in this company for 19 years. A long time to be working for someone. Welcome employee. So, all right. So, what the way this this game works is you usually start in the mail room, which is your first level. Now, this game is a puzzle. Uh, very similar to nothing actually, I've never really seen anything like it, but it does have a very similar design to games like Grey Goo, which is another puzzle game that was very, very popular. So I'm gonna um, clear all of this and show you how this works. So in the first few levels, the game is pretty easy. It basically just tells you how to use these different, um, different commands. And here we have only have two, inbox and outbox. So what happens when you press inbox or when you put inbox in here, you go in, and you pick up an item. Well, that's that's quite easy. If you put an outbox, you'll you'll do this, and then you'll put it in the outbox. All right, that's awesome. Now he says we need to do this three times, so we're gonna repeat this three different times. And essentially, this is how the beginning of the game works. And you kind of learn these uh, these new commands one by one. Now, what does this represent? Well, this of course represents the different ideas in programming and coding. Almost every language programming language is based on very similar principles. All right, mailroom finished. Um, let's go to the next level. Next level introduces a new command, and this command is going to be called jump. Now, what is jump? Jump is uh, kind of like a loop in many languages. So here, uh, we're gonna, instead of doing this three times, we're just gonna need to, to do this two, uh, one time and then put a jump, which will basically ask us to return to the beginning. So this is a loop um, that works very similar in many, many different programming languages. So you learn how to use loops. You can also accelerate game if this is too slow for you. And here we go. Excellent. So we finished another level. And what you notice here is that there's, um, for every level there's challenges. So here there's a size challenge, which means that you have to try to use as, as few commands as possible. And also a speed challenge, which basically means you want to complete your puzzle as soon as possible. So here I kind of lost the speed challenge. Uh, but um, you can try to essentially solve every puzzle to get these two extra green marks. As you progress, you learn new and new commands. So this is year four. You learn another command that's called copy from and copy to, which copies you, one of your blocks here, or you can then pick it up and bring it back or use, use it for something else. So this is a, another command, and this is what it actually does. I'll show you. Put the block down, put another one down. Okay, so yeah, I think here I have to copy um, so I think here what you have to do is actually pick up my first block, put it down, and then pick up the second block and put it away. And then put the first block and put it in here as well. So basically you're reversing order for every two items. And then once in a while you'll reach these coffee time or break time levels where you kind of just go through, um, well nothing really, just a little bit of a cutscene that gives you a bit of a story and a background in, um, of what this game is about and why it's kind of fun. So here, everyone. back to work everyone. Yes, you're part of a, some sort of a conspiracy, some sort of a big company, and you'll hear the news about what's going on. And it's very short, very sweet, and may not make sense right away, but as you progress through these levels and experience more and more of these coffee rooms, you will learn what's going on. Now, I personally think this is a good addition because it's not just a puzzle game, but it does have a bit of a story. But the best part about this is that 
it teaches you one command per level but at the same time if you want to really challenge yourself there's one once in a while you get these forks right here where um a command that you just learned becomes even more difficult and more difficult and extremely difficult so this one i still wasn't able to get the challenges right but uh so here's here's what this is so um in level six you learn a command called add basically what it does is it takes a number and adds it to another number which is very similar in many programming languages and now um once you learn it it gives you a mathematical puzzle in this level you have to try to triple a number in this level you have to try to make the number eight times bigger but in this level you have to make uh, take take a number and make it 40 times bigger than before now i was able to solve this using a really kind of a complex uh mathematical solution where you kind of just do this over and over and over and over and over and over at some point you put it one of them down and this will become times 40. Now, I, I was able to solve it, but I didn't get the challenges. So, this is where the game's um, awesomeness comes in, because not only do you solve this puzzle, but you try to beat yourself and create a more effective, more efficient program for every one of them. And this is really what programming is all about, right? When If you ever become a coder or a programmer, it's not enough to make a program, but you have to simplify it until it becomes really, really, really small. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get these challenges. Um, and as you progress, the game gets really hard. There's a level right now I still couldn't beat. I'll show you what it's like. It's called Multiplication Workshop. Here, 20. Um, here you reach um, a point where there's a lot of commands and you, ha you don't have to use all of them, but you have to try to use as many as you can to make this very effective. So what I have to do in this level by using commands like add, subtract, bump, bump, jump, jump with zero and jump with negative, or possibly even using these, which are just notes where you can actually use your mouse to write. Hello world, very badly. Hello world, yay, I put it here. Um, oh, I kind of erased it by accident, oops. Anyway, so in this level, I have to try to uh, take two numbers and cross multiply them. Now, it may sound easy, but there is no multiplication anywhere here. So you have to use either addition or subtraction or this command called bump, which reduces a number by one or adds uh, one to a number. So that's interesting, right? I mean, it's it does create a, a kind of a challenge. I still have no idea how to really solve this. I've tried to play around with this. I'm pretty sure I have to use the bump command. I'm not sure what he's doing, but I think this is some sort of a hint because this was the original code. He just picks up zeros from one thingy, he puts it into another thingy. So one of these days I'll be able to solve this puzzle, but here is the tricky part. There's a fork for this puzzle, meaning that it becomes more difficult. In this uh, in this part, I think I have to use Fibonacci numbers, which is a mathematical concept of Fibonacci. Here I have to use modulus, which is a programming concept that's very, very important in programming. Here I don't really know, and here I don't know either, but I think I have to sort three numbers of the same type. Um, eventually, you'll learn more and more commands, and there's quite a lot of different commands that sort of really teach you about... Um, how coding works and make you a better coder because you have to try to complete these extra challenges as well And then at the end you have end program congratulations now I honestly think this is the best way I've seen any game try to teach you programming so far I have not seen a better game than this and this is absolutely awesome if you want to learn a little bit about coding or if you want to just kind of try to challenge yourself with a really difficult coding slash mathematical puzzle this is a game for you now, obviously, this is not the only game that teaches you coding through games because there's games like Minecraft that have coding modes. There's game like, uh, games like a Kerbal Space Program that have coding modes as well. But none of them do it as, as much fun as this as, and it make it so easy and um, so convenient and so um, simple to understand. But also, none of them are really uh, just focused on that. I mean, this is the main focus of the, of the game, to learn how to become a better coder, how to use these um, programming puzzles to essentially uh, try to solve every puzzle, and how to progress through every level just by learning a certain command. So this is yet another command where I have to try to take a number and reduce it to zero. So here, from two, I'll have to reduce it to zero. And ta-da, but I don't think I actually got any challenges for this. 
I missed my challenge by a wide margin, but this one I surprisingly managed to complete. So this is really what this game is like in a nutshell. And if you love coding games, or if you just like puzzle games, or if you love math, like I do, um, definitely give Human Resource Machine a try. This is a game that's only nine bucks on Steam right now, and I'm sure it's going to have a sale soon. This is definitely one of the best puzzle games I've played this year. And I also think this is definitely one of the best games to learn things. Uh, so if you like learning, if you like learning while playing games, or if you just like math and programming, give Human Resource Machine a try. I'm posting the link for this game in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and game you later. Bye-bye.